Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. Ann O'Connor. Here we have another buffer problem. We're told that a buffer solution consists of 0.169 molar ammonia and 0.183 molar ammonium chloride. What is the change in the pH when 20 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide is added to 80 milliliters of the buffer solution? Here we're given Ka for ammonium ion and obviously we're going to use the henderson hasselbach equation here. Now, first thing we need to do is determine the pH of the buffer before any hydroxide ion is added. So we can do that using the henderson hasselbach equation plus the log, and this would be the concentration of the base, which in our case is ammonia, divided by the concentration of the weak acid, which is ammonium ion. So first thing we need to do is determine our pKa. So pKa is the negative log of 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10, and that's going to give us 9.25. So we're all set. So pH is equal to 9.25 plus the ammonia concentration is 0 0.169 molar, and the ammonium concentration is 0.183 molar. Remember, we're dissolving the ammonium chloride in water, which completely dissociates. So we have 0.183 molar ammonium ion, so 0.183, and this works out to be a pH of 9.22. So again, this is before the addition of any sodium hydroxide. Now, let's find out what happens after the addition of sodium hydroxide. First, we need to find out the number of moles of all species in the solution. We have the ammonia, and again, we're looking at 80 milliliters of the buffer solution. Remember, we can determine the number of moles by multiplying the volume and the molarity. So let's start with the moles of ammonia. And what we have is 80 milliliters is 0 0.08 liters. And we'll multiply that by 0 0.169 molar. And let's see, we end up with 0 0.0135 moles of ammonia. So let's do the same thing for the ammonium ion. And again, that comes from the ammonium chloride. And we have, again, we have 80 milliliters of the buffer solution. We'll multiply that by 0 0.183 molar. And that's going to give us 0 0.0146 moles of ammonium. And then let's find out the number of moles of hydroxide ion. And we're told here that 20 milliliters of hydroxide ion is added, so it's going to be 0.02 liters. Multiply that by the concentration, which is one molar. And we end up with 0 0.002 moles of hydroxide ion. Okay, so let's go ahead and write out our equation for this, we have ammonium ion that's going to react with the added base. Remember, the acid will react with the added base, and the base, in this case ammonia, would react with any added acid. So we have ammonium plus the hydroxide ion, and that's going to produce ammonia. plus water. Okay, so let's set up a little table here, our initial change, and then concentration at equilibrium. Actually, remember, when we're using the henderson hasselbach equation, all we really need to know is the ratio of the number of moles of base to acid. Okay, the volumes all cancel out, so we don't have to worry about the concentrations here. Let's see, initially we had 0 0.0146 moles 
of ammonium and 0.02 moles of hydroxide ion and let's see 0.0135 moles of ammonia. So we add the 0.002 moles of hydroxide ion which reacts with the ammonium ion so we have to subtract this from the initial number of moles of ammonium ions so 0 0.002 moles and obviously all of the added hydroxide is going to react and then here we're going to add 0 0.002 moles so then at equilibrium we're going to have 0 0.0 Zero one two six moles of ammonium ion, zero hydroxide ion, and zero point zero one five five moles of ammonia. So now we have all the information we need to calculate the pH of this solution with the added hydroxide ion. So the pH is going to be equal to the pKa, which is nine point two five, plus the log. So here we need the number of moles of base, which is 0 0.0155, and the number of moles of ammonium ion, which is 0 0.0126. And we plug this into our calculator, and we end up with a pH of 9.34. We're not quite done yet because we need to find the change in pH. So we start with 9.34. And remember the pH of the solution before any added hydroxide ion is 9.22. And we end up with a pH change of 0 0.12.